So finally, something we ask all the actors we interview, we just love to hear a little bit about how people got their start. What was your first acting experience that made you decide you want to become an actor? There was an episode of Arthur on PBS. Arthur, he had his friends help him make this uh, 007 style spy movie. And it was terrible. Like they, the experience was terrible, but it came out just like lovely because they were all sharing this experience together. So that made, you know, the film even more just uh, heartfelt and beautiful. And I remember watching an episode like, I want to be an actor. And then I got into action movies like The Rock with Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery. And I wrote a sequel to The Rock when I was like 11 or something like that. And it was in this burgundy binder. I lost the binder. I'm sure someone stole it. But um, that was, those are the first sort of like, my, 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 I think those are the moments I wanted to be an actor. But then in Maryland, there weren't too many acting opportunities for me, unless you wanted to be in The Wire in Baltimore. Uh, and I ain't driving 45 minutes to Baltimore to go be in The Wire. And I was, I was a kid, so I was like, I'm gonna do stand-up comedy. So I, I use stand-up comedy as a way to get into acting. So I'd watch Eddie Murphy stand-up films and Richard Pryor and Red Fox and you know uh, Bernie Mac and all these amazing comedic artists. Just like I'd watch and study them, and I would hope that would have you know lead to a an acting career, and it definitely did. So I was a uh, that's the short story. It's a longer story there, but. And uh, I'm sorry, I have like a Band-Aid on my finger. My, my daughter has these baby oh, okay. shark Band-Aids. I cut my, my finger on some. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's kind of the, the cliff notes of, you know, me and my beginning. 